So we're we trying to take this blood router attack and port it to wireless, which has turned out to be very difficult. Um, the thing we found out is if you try to go directly off the wireless card from this backtrack Linux attacker, it slows down to about 1% of the expected speed and has no effect at all. So it finally worked. It was to have a backtrack attacker sending out an Ethernet cable into a router, which is then transmitting that into 5 gigahertz AO211N wireless. And you have only one client on the network, which is this iPad 3. We tried several devices, an iPad 1, a Windows 8 machine, a MacBook Air, and an iPad 3, and the only one of them that's really vulnerable is the iPad 3. The iPad 1 just shrugs off the attack like nothing's happened. We've got an iPad 3, so here's the attack, Club Router 26. He's zero, and if you want to do it yourself, here's all you have to do to get it going. Just get CHCP IBV6 in backtrack, tart, make it, go in there, make it, and then just run Club Router 26. Uh, that's the attack. So let's start it here and we'll see what happens. Go ahead and start it, Kurt. There you go. All right. So that's sending out a lot of router advertisements. And you see what happens to the iPad here. Okay, it that. has um, lost only 7% idle, 93% use of CPU. And as the attack proceeds, that gets down to zero or nearly so. And let's see what it does here. Yep, there it goes down. So essentially, all the resources are being used up. and uh, the scrolling is a little slow, and if you go to here and you try to launch this IPv6 config app, which is very nice, and when you're not attacking it with this kind of flood, you can see the IPv6 addresses and you can see the router advertisements come in, but this thing is not even going to launch. It's going to freeze for a while and then crash without even being able to launch, and the same thing happens to quite a few apps, and sometimes the whole thing just shuts down completely with a crash. But look at the router blinking a lot. That's true. Highly active. That's true. You see it on a router. That's true. You can see that. And uh, see, this just crashed when you tried to open it. There's a stopwatch, too, that was kind of fun in our previous test. You could see the stopwatch run slowly, but now the stopwatch won't even start. Oh, there it comes. Good. Let's see how that's when you run it. Sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. But you see, it keeps freezing up on you, running slowly. This is it. So it's, the iPad is not completely useless but it's very close to useless under this kind of flood attack. So, um, zoom in on that D-Link. It's going to look really high yeah. traffic band. Yeah, all right. Well, I think that's it. That's, the all, that's all you have here. That's the most powerful wireless attack we've been able to make with this flood. That's it. That is, yeah.